Oh dear, what can the matter be? Seven old ladies locked in the lavatory. They were there from Sunday to Saturday. Nobody knew they was there. The first was the wife of a deacon in Dover, and though she was known as a bit of a rover, she liked it so much that she thought she'd stay over, and nobody knew she was there. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Seven old ladies locked in the lavatory. They were there from Sunday to Saturday. Nobody knew they was there. The next was an athletic lady named Myrtle, hopped over the top like a steeplechase hurdle. Her glasses got hooked in the stay of her girdle. Nobody knew she was there. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Seven old ladies locked in the lavatory. They were there from Sunday to Saturday. Nobody knew they was there. Now the next old lady was Abigail Humphrey, who settled inside to make herself comfy. But then she found out she could not get her bum free. Nobody knew she was there. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Seven old ladies locked in the lavatory. They were there from Sunday to Saturday. Nobody knew they was there. The next old lady was old Mrs. Bickle, who found herself caught in a desperate pickle. She stopped at a pay booth and hadn't a nickel, so nobody knew she was there. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Seven old ladies locked in the lavatory. They were there from Sunday to Saturday. Nobody knew they was there. The next was the bishop of Chichester's daughter, who went in to pass some superfluous water. She pulled on the chain, and the rising tide caught her. Nobody knew she was there. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Seven old ladies were locked in the lavatory. They were there from Sunday to Saturday. Nobody knew they was there. The next old lady, Elizabeth Bender, was doing all right till a vagrant suspender got all twisted up in her feminine gender, and nobody knew she was there. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Seven old ladies locked in the lavatory. They were there from Sunday to Saturday. Nobody knew they was there. The last was a lady named Jennifer Pym. She only sat down on a personal whim, but she somehow got pinched twixt the cup and the brim, and nobody knew she was there. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Seven old ladies locked in the lavatory. They were there from Sunday to Saturday. Nobody knew they was there. go to college, college go we, we've never lost our virginity, we might have lost it, if only they forced it, we are from campus hall, oh, we go to college at each Christmas dance, we don't wear bras and we don't wear pants, we like to give the freshmen a chance, we are from campus hall, we go to college, we have our fun, we know exactly the way that it's done. We saw the movies in Hygiene A1. We're from the campus hall. We go to college, don't we have pluck? We do our work without asking the buck. Come up sometime, boys, you may be in luck. We are from campus hall. We go to college, we can be had. Don't take our word, boys, ask dear old dad. He brings his buddies for graduate studies. We are from Campus Hall. There was a jolly tinker and he hailed from France. There was a jolly tinker and he hailed from France with his long john tiddly whacker fiddly whacker pants. His long john tiddly whacker overgrown kidney cracker looking for a cindy stack around the belly wang. 
Well, the farmer's daughter, she was coming from the ball. The farmer's daughter was a coming from the ball. She met the jolly tinker, he was standing by a wall with his long john tiddly whacker, old grog in the cracker, looking for a city stack around the belly rang. She took one look and told him with a sigh. She took one look and she told him with a sigh. You're my darling, you're my dearest, you're the apple of my eye. You long John Tin, the whacker, overgrown kidney cracker, looking for a Sydney stack around the belly rang. Pretty maiden, pretty maiden, pretty maiden, I love you. Pretty maiden, pretty maiden, pretty maiden, I love you. So she my jolly tinker, just a half a dollar do with you. Long John Tin, the whacker, overgrown kidney cracker, looking for a Sydney stack around the belly wang. Well, he took her by the hand for to bring her to the hay. He took her by the hand for to bring her to the hay. She got so eager she dragged him all away with his long john tiddly whacker, overgrown kidney cracker, looking for a sitting stack around the belly wang. First he had her in the barn and he had her in the hall. Had her in the barn and he had her in the hall. The servant started screaming, he's gonna have us all with his long john tiddly whacker, overgrown kidney cracker, looking for a sitting stack around the belly wang. Well, when the fun was over, he shouldered up his load. When the fun was over, he shouldered up his load. He brushed off his clothes, went a-whistling down the road with his long john tiddly whacker, overgrown kidney cracker, looking for a sitting stack around the belly wang. Oh, mother cried the maiden, I am troubled, I'm alone. Mother cried the maiden, I am troubled, I'm alone. For the king took his pleasure and he's left me here to moan. With his long john tiddly whacker, overgrown kidney cracker, looking for a sitting stack around the belly wang. Daughter, you're a ninny, for you left it all a chance. Daughter, you're a ninny, for you left it all a chance. Don't give it to a tinker till he pays you in advance. With his long john tiddly whacker, overgrown kidney cracker, looking for a city stack around the belly wang. Now Bella was young and Bella was fair With bright blue eyes and golden hair Oh, unhappy Bella Her step was light and her heart was gay But she had no sense and one fine day She got herself put in a family way By a mean and wicked, heartless, cruel deceiver She went to his house but the dirty skunk had packed his bags and had done a bunk. Oh, unhappy Bella. Her landlady said, get out, you whore. Don't cross my threshold or darken my door. Poor Bella was put to affliction sore by a mean and wicked, heartless, cruel deceiver. Night she tramped the icy snows. What she suffered, nobody knows. Oh, unhappy Bella! And when the morning dawned so red, alas, alas, poor Bella was dead. Sent in her youth to a lonely bed by a mean and wicked, heartless, cruel deceiver. So thus you see, do what we will, the fruits of sin are suffering still. Oh, unhappy Bella, as into the grave they laid her low, the men said, alas, what life it is so. But the women were chanting sweet and low, it's all the men, they've done it again, the bastards. A mean and wicked, heartless, cruel deceiver. Cats on the rooftops, cats on the tiles, cats with the clap and the crab and the piles, cats with their butts all wreathed in smiles as they revel in the throes of fornication. The crocodile is a funny animal, he rates his mate only once in a while. When he does, he floods the mile as he revels in the throes of fornication.
The hippo's rump is big and round, the small ones weigh a thousand pound. Two together quake the ground as they revel in the throes of fornication. Cats on the rooftops, cats on the tiles, cats with the clap and the crab and the piles, cats with their butts all wreathed in smiles as they revel in the throes of fornication. Baboon's rear is an eerie sight There's a glow below like a neon light And he waves like a flag in the jungle night As he revels in the throes of fornication Cats on the rooftops, cats on the tiles Cats with the clap and the crab and the piles Cats with their butts all wreathed in smiles As they revel in the throes of fornication The camel has a lot of fun, his night is complete when he is done. He always gets two humps for one as he revels in the throes of fornication. Cats on the rooftops, cats on the tiles, cats with the clap and the crab and the piles. Cats with their boss all wreathed in smiles as they revel in the throes of fornication. Clam is a model of chastity, and you can tell the he from the she, but she can tell and so can he, so they revel in the throes of fornication. It's cats on the rooftops, cats on the tiles, cats with the clap and the crabs and the piles, cats with their butts all wreathed in smiles as they revel in the throes of fornication. Now the queen bees flit among the trees, and their consort with whom they please. They fill the land with sons of bees, as they revel in the throes of fornication. Cats on the rooftops, cats on the tiles, cats with the clap and the crab and the piles. Cats with their butts all wreathed in smiles, as they revel in the throes of fornication. Now the monkey's small and rather slow, erect he stands just a foot or so, so when he comes it's time to go, as he revels in the throes of fornication. It's cats on the rooftops, cats on the tiles, cats with the clap and the crab and the piles, cats with their butts all wreathed in smiles, as they revel in the throes of fornication. Five hundred verses, all in rhyme, to sit and to sing them seems such a crime, when we could better spend our time reveling in the throes of fornication. It's cats on the rooftops, cats on the tiles, cats with the clap and the crab in the piles, cats with their butts all wreathed in smiles, as they revel in the throes of fornication. The passengers will please refrain from flushing toilets while the train is in the station, darling, I love you. We encourage constipation while the train is in the station, moonlight always makes me think of you. If you wish to pass some water, kindly call the Pullman Potter, you'll place a vessel in the vestibule. If the porter isn't here, try the platform in the rear. The one in front is likely to be cool. If the woman's room be taken, never feel the least forsaken. Never show a sign of sad defeat. 
Try the men's room across the hall, and if some man has had the call, he'll courteously relinquish you his seat. If these efforts all are vain, then simply break a window pane. This novel method's used by very few. We go strolling through the park, goosing statues in the dark. If Sherman's horse can take it, why can't you? Do now what is that? It's round and dark like a bowler hat. It's good for me and it's good for you. And it's what they call the ring dang do. Now there was this girl and a bright young maid. Of men and boys she was sore afraid. She woke one night with a feeling new that there was a stranger in a ring dang do. Her father come up and angry stood, says, You have lost your maidenhood. Pack your bags and your satchel too, and get the hell out with your ring dang do. So she went to the city and became a whore, hung this sign upon her door. One dollar each and three for two, to take a little crack, get my ring dang do. So the army came and the army went, the price went up to fifty cents. They caught the clap and the lawyers too, and the seven year itch from a ring dang do. So the MPs came and they shot her dead, the troops filed by as she lay in bed. On a pole for the public view, they hung it up there, her ring dang do. Oh, the ring dang do now what is that? It's round and dark like a bowler hat. It's good for me and it's good for you. And it's what they call the ring dang do. Ladies was up for improvement. I'd give them some help with a ball bear in movement. Roll your leg over, roll your leg over, roll your leg over the man in the moon. If all them young ladies was little white kittens, I were a tomcat, I'd make them new fittings. Roll your leg over, roll your leg over. Roll your leg over the man in the moon. If all them young ladies was B-29s, and I was a fighter, I'd buzz their behinds. Roll your leg over, roll your leg over, roll your leg over the man in the moon. If all them young ladies was bats in a steeple, and I was a bat, there'd be more bats than people. Roll your leg over, roll your leg over, roll your leg over the man in the moon. If all them young ladies was wheels on a car, I'd be a piston and I'd go twice as far. Roll your leg over, roll your leg over, roll your leg over the man in the moon. If all them young ladies was little blind moles, I'd find their burrows, I'd fill in the holes. Roll your leg over, roll your leg over, roll your leg over the man in the moon. If all them young ladies was mares in a stable, I'd be the groom mounting all I was able. Roll your leg over, roll your leg over, roll your leg over the man in the moon. If all them young ladies was diamonds and rubies, I'd be a jeweler and I'd shine up their boobies. Roll your leg over, roll your leg over, roll your leg over the man in the moon. 
If all them young ladies was singing this song, it would be twice as filthy and ten times as long. Roll your leg over, roll your leg over, roll your leg over the man in the moon. Oh, the children of the bakers make the most delicious breads, and the sons of Casanova fill the most exclusive beds. The bourbons and the pisters, and some others I could name, have inherited the features that perpetuate their fame. My position in the structure of society I owe To the qualities my parents they bequeathed me long ago For my father was a gentleman and musical to boot He used to play piano in the house of ill repute My mother was the madam and a credit to the cult. She liked my father's playing and I was the result. So my mother and my father, they're the ones I have to thank. I'm chairman of the board of the National County Bank. Our parents forgot to get married. Our parents forgot to get wed. Did a wedding bell chime, it was always the time Our parents were somewhere in bed Thanks to our kind-hearted parents We're kings in the land of the free The banker, the broker, the Washington joker Three prominent bastards are we In a cozy little cottage In a cozy southern dwell a dear old-fashioned farmer and his daughter used to dwell. She was pretty, she was charming, she was tender, she was mild. And her sympathies were such that she was frequently with child. Oh, the year her hospitality attained a record high. She became the mother of a little infant, which was I. And whenever Ma was gloomy, I could always make her grin by childishly inquiring who my daddy might have been. For such were Mammy's motives, and so great was her allure, that even Walter Winchell was an absolutely sure. So I took my mother's morals, and I took my daddy's crust, and I grew to be the founder of the big investment trust. Our parents forgot to get married. Our parents forgot to get wet Did a wedding bell chime, it was always the time Our parents were somewhere in bed So it's thanks to our kind-hearted parents We're kings in the land of the free The banker, the broker, the Washington joker Three prominent bastards are we On a dusty little chain gang, on a dusty southern road, my late lamented pappy made his permanent abode. Now some was there for stealing, but pappy's only fault was an overwhelming weakness for her criminal assault. His philosophy was simple and quite free from moral taint. Seduction is for sissies, a he-man wants his rape. So Pappy's list of victims was embarrassingly rich. Though one of them was mother, he could never tell me which. Well, I've never gone to college, but I got me a degree. For I am a model of a perfect SOB. I'm a debit to the country. I'm a credit to my dad. I'm the most expensive senator this country ever had. Our parents forgot to get married. Our parents forgot to get wed. Did a wedding bell chime, it was always the time. Our parents were somewhere in bed. Thanks to our kind-hearted parents, we're kings in the land of the free. 
the banker, the broker, the Washington joker, three prominent bastards are we. was an Indian maid who always was afraid that some buckaroo would fly around the flue as she lay sleeping in the shade. She had an idea grand, she'd fail it up with sand to keep the boys from forbidden joys in Redwick's promised land. Oh, the sun shines down on pretty red wing as she lay sleeping, this buck come creeping. With his one good eye he was a peeping, he hoped to reach the promised land. Now he was an Indian wise, he reached for Red Wing's thighs With an old rubber boot on the end of a toot he made for Red Wing Open up her eyes, but when she come to life, she grabbed her bowie knife It flashed in the sky as she let it fly and shortened his love life Oh, the moon shines down on pretty Red Wing As she lay snoring, her knife adoring For no longer do the braves come whoring They won't pay the price of the promised land Oh, girls, if you want to be wives, put away those knives. Boys like to play for a fling in the hay. They don't want to pay the rest of their lives. Mind what Mama said. If you're lying in your bed, if you can't evade, don't reach for a blade. Have a hell of a time instead. Oh, the clouds go floating over Red Wing as she lay snoring where life is boring. Why, she'd even welcome Herman Goring into the pleasure of her promised land. Why do you last nicht? Why do you know? The man that do you last nicht, they can do you do. Oh, the ball, the ball of Ali Noor, where your wife and my wife were doing on the floor, singing a why do you last nicht? Why do you know? The man that do you last nicht, they can do you do. There was a doing in the parlor, a doing on the stones, where you couldn't hear the music for the wheezing and the groans, singing a what do you last nicht, what do you do? The man who do you last nicht, he can do you do. The deacon's wife was standing there, her back against the wall, put your money on the table, boys, I'm gone to do you all, singing a what do you last nicht. Why do you know the man who do you last nicht? He canna do you do. The queen was in the parlor eating bread and honey. The king was in the chambermaid and she was in the money singing. Why do you last nicht? Why do you know the man who do you last nicht? He canna do you do. They tried it on the garden path and once around the park. And when the candles all burnt out, they did it in the dark, singing a why do you last nicht, a why do you know, the man who do you last nicht, he can do you do. Oh, at first they trod it simple, then they tried it he's and she's, but when the ball was rolling, they went at it fives and threes, singing a why do you last nicht, a why do you know, the man who do you last nicht, he can do you do. The letter carrier, he was there, the poor man had the pox. He couldn't do the lassies, so he did the letter box, singing a why do you last nicht, a why do you know? The man to do you last nicht, he can do you do. Now when the ball was over, everyone confessed the music was exquisite, but the doing were the best, singing a why do you last nicht. Now I do you know the man to do you last if they can do you know And for a sheepskin, she'll do it, she'll do it. And for a sheepskin, she'll do it again. And for a cow's horn, she'll do it at morn, and barely turn and do it again. Among our young lassies is Moorland Meg. She'll beg you to do it, she'll beg and she'll beg. At thirteen her maiden head flew to the gate, and the door of the cage it is wide open yet. And for a sheepskin she'll do it, she'll do it. And for a sheepskin she'll do it again. And for a cow's horn she'll do it at morn, and merrily turn and do it again. 
Her kettle black eyes want to tickle you through. Her lips seem to say it, oh, kiss me, please do. The curls and the links of her bonny black hair would put you in mind that the lassie has mare. And for a sheepskin, she'll do it, she'll do it. And for a sheepskin, she'll do it again. And for a cow's horn, she do it at morn. And merrily turn and do it again. An arm full of love is her bosom so plump, a span of delight is her middle and rump, a taper white leg and a stomach in style, and a fiddle nearby you can play for the while. And for a sheepskin, she'll do it, she'll do it, for a sheepskin, she'll do it again. For a cow's horn, she'll do it at morn, and merrily turn and do it again. For love's her delight, and kissin's her treasure, she'll stick it in a price and give you full measure. So take her warm hand, man, or better her leg, and sing of the praises of Moorland Meg. For poor sheepskin, she'll do it, she'll do it. For sheepskin, she'll do it again. And for cow's horn, she'll do it at morn, and merrily turn and do it again. Hi ho, Kapuzalam, the harlot of Jerusalem, prostitute of ill repute, daughter of the Baba. Come listen to my tale of woe, it happened many years ago, when women rarely answered no way down in old Jerusalem. Hi ho, Kapuzalam, the harlot of Jerusalem, prostitute of ill repute, and the daughter of the Baba. Kafuzalam was a wily witch, a warty whore, a brazen bitch. She caused it all the lips to twitch that liveth in Jerusalem. Hi ho, Kafuzalam, the harlot of Jerusalem, prostitute of ill repute, and the daughter of the Baba. There was a prince both lean and tall, whose manly arts made all to fall. His victims lined the wailing wall that standeth in Jerusalem. Hi ho, Kafuzalam, the harlot of Jerusalem, prostitute of ill repute, the daughter of the Baba. One night returning from a spree, his customary leer had he looked down the road and chanced to see that hoary wench Kafuzalam. Hi ho, Kafuzalam, the harlot of Jerusalem, prostitute of ill repute, the daughter of the Baba. With artful eye and cunning look, she led him to a shady nook, and to her bounteous bosom took the pride of all Jerusalem. Hi ho, Kafuzalam, the harlot of Jerusalem, prostitute of ill repute, and the daughter of the Baba. But he was too abrupt, alas, and so he made a hasty pass that knocked Kafuzalam to the grass that grows in old Jerusalem. Hi ho, Kafuzalam, the harlot of Jerusalem, prostitute of ill repute, and the daughter of the Baba. But Kafuzalam was overgassed, she arched her back and loosed a blast that sent him flying far and fast, sailing o'er Jerusalem. Hi ho, Kafuzalam, the harlot of Jerusalem, prostitute of ill repute, and the daughter of the Baba. And when the moon is bright and red, a flying form sails overhead, still raining curses on the bed of that brazen bitch, Kafuzalam. Hi ho, Kafuzalam, the harlot of Jerusalem, prostitute of ill repute, the daughter of the Baba. Now the minstrels sing of an English king of many long years ago. He ruled his land with an iron hand, though his morals were weak and low. His only outer garment was a dirty yellow shirt, with which he tried to hide his hide, but he couldn't hide the dirt. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, but he had his women by twos and threes. God bless the bastard king of England. Now the Queen of Spain was an amorous Jane, a lascivious wench was she. She longed to play in her loving way with the king across the sea. So she sent a royal message with a royal messenger to invite the king of England down to spend the night with her. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, and he had his women by twos and threes. God bless the bastard king of England. Well, when Philip of France, he heard it by chance, he declared before his court 
The queen prefers my rival just because I'm somewhat short. So he sent the count of Zippity Zap to give to the queen a dose of clap to pass it on to the bastard king of England. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, but he had his women by twos and threes. God bless the bastard king of England. When the king of England heard the news, he cursed the Gallic farce. He up and swore by the royal whore he'd have the Frenchman's arse. He offered half the royal person a piece of Queen Hortense to any British subject who'd undo the king of France. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, but he had his women by twos and threes. God bless the bastard king of England. So the Earl of Sussex jumped on his horse and straightway rode to France, where he made a pass and he stripped the sash from Philip's pajama pants. And in front of the throng he slipped on a thong, leaped on his horse and galloped along, dragging the Frenchman back to merry England. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, but he had his women by twos and threes. God bless the bastard king of England. When the king of England he saw the sight, he fell in a faint on the floor. For during the ride, his rival's hide was stretched a yard or more. And all the maids of England came down to London town and shouted around the battlements to hell with a British crown. So Philip of France usurped the throne, a scepter was the royal bone with which he bitched the bastard king of England. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, but he had his women by twos and threes. God bless the bastard king of England.